great British explorer, George Mallory, was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it. He said because it is there. Judging by my appearance, you could probably assume that I'm from a different country. Yes, I'm Chinese, and this is my second year in America. I could still clearly remember that a year ago, when I first landed in LAX, across the costume, and entered the nation of the United States. How was I feeling? Of course, curious and interested, but also uncertain and anxious. This whole new world is a totally uncharted topic to me. And of course, there are so many different aspects that I need to adapt to, for the better or worse. Fortunately, after a year of exploration, I really enjoy myself in this new habitat. And my life has been illuminated with so many more possibilities. I can devote myself into whatever studies that I'm interested in, including neuroscience and robotics. I can participate in a club to design and build a rocket that launches into a thousand feet into the sky. I can cook delicious cuisine for the people I love. I can appreciate the performance played by my classmates in the school. And right now I can stand in front of hundreds of people and tell them the truth that lies within me. Most importantly, I have made new friends who can share their sympathy and passion with me. They made America no longer a territory of uncertainty for me. And I'm so glad that I have been pushed through this international venture for the first year. However, one day this idea was challenged. And what happened reminds me that there is still something that I don't understand. I was a member of a local robotics club, and one day I'm working with my teammate on this random robot design. We cannot reach an agreement on how many wheels we're going to put on it, which turns into a debate. And with this American teenager saying to me that, this is America, not somewhere you do things in your communist way. Our conversation paused. So did my thought on that random robot. I didn't understand why should the number of wheels be associated with communism. Neither do I really understand that why should my behavior be judged on my nationality. Coming from a different country does make me somehow different from a lot of American people that I interact with. And I guess this difference in nationality seems to become my tag. And I also believe that a lot of other international people are also tagged in the same way, by their nationality. But from my personal experience, this tag only hinders and hurts. Instead of seeing me as a global citizen, I was boxed by this teenager as a Chinese. But if we remove this tag, isn't what's left that really defines me? Does my native language disables me from participating in your conversation? Does my original culture prevent me from appreciating a new one? Does the so-called communist way have a permanent mark on my mind? Or am I able to freely make my decision and my choices? My nationality is something I'm born with, something I cannot change, and something I would not wish to change. But when my nationality becomes my tag, it generates prejudice and brings me further and further away from other American people. Sadly, prejudice still exists around the world. And it's not only against nationality. It takes multiple forms. And in those despicable time of history, we have learned that how humans could discriminate each other in hateful ways. But I believe that we deserve the same right regardless of race. We should be considered equally capable in despite of gender. We should all be able to practice our religion freely 
in a tolerant but peaceful world. We humans as a species have endured so many eras of racism, sexism, homophobia, and religious discrimination. But there shall be no room for such discrimination in our gradually more globalized future. And we humans as a species should be able to rise above xenophobia and nationalism. The tag we assign to each one's identity really influence our opinion on our people. But none of these identity are changeable. And neither do they wholly define who we are. The only reason why these tags do exist is that everyone is unique. But we tend to put each other in a box of us versus them. However, overemphasizing these tags only tears people apart. So I wish that one day we can stop paying any attention to this meaningless tag and only focus on people's thoughts, actions, and personality. Only when we stop judging people by their backgrounds, their gender, their nationality, or their race can we really understand, respect, and accept each other. And I have a strong faith that we humans as a species can and must achieve this since no matter how different we might be, we still have something in common. In our short but precious lifespan, we as humans, we pursue, for our, we pursue for our happiness. And for our happiness, we want to love and to be loved. So why in the 21st century are we still alienating people according to their nationality and returning to an outdated tendency of tribalism? I'm Chinese, and I will always be Chinese. But I'm also Lucas, and I'm proud of being myself. Thank you. <laughs>